I think my defining moment was when my grandfather passed away from cancer while I was an undergrad and seeing how much there's still left to be done to understand cancer and how to treat patients. The defining moment was when uh, my mom actually developed a rapidly growing brain tumor. They had to treat it with this high dose burst of radiation. I was taking an uh, applied math course where they actually talked about how they do the optimization to minimize tissue damage. That personal connection really drew me to the medical field. Hi, I'm Katie Gaber. Hi, I'm Neil Mazika. And we are PhD candidates here at the Wall Cornell Graduate School of Medical Sciences. Yes. Katie and I's collaboration has been incredibly unique. Mm -hmm. I almost joke that sometimes we're two people doing one combined PhD. Collaboration is one of the most critical parts about research. When you're working together in a team, it gives you power to do a lot more than you could ever do on your own. When I first saw the timeline about how long it takes a drug to get approved over a decade and over a billion dollars, it blew my mind. I'd make it more or less connected to have a similar, make increase the impact it could have. Yeah. The ultimate goal is to impact the drug development process and to get the right drugs to the right patients faster. About 20 years ago now, they trained a machine they called Deep Blue, uh, which beat the world champion in chess. 256 processors that can examine 200 million possible moves every second. Machine learning fundamentally is a relatively simple idea. It's taking a bunch of data, feeding that data into a computer, and telling the computer to learn from it. And today you're seeing self-driving cars, you're seeing Siri on your phone. Machine learning is able to take advantage of the data that's already out there so we don't have to repeat previous mistakes. But so far, people haven't really applied this too much in the biomedical field. We've actually taken drugs that were approved and then later pulled from markets because of severe side effects. Um, and run our models on and shown that for many of these drugs, we could have actually predicted that side effect before they were even approved. Katie and I were both incredibly honored to be featured on the Forbes 30 and the 30 list. And it's been great being on that list, how the greater community, both pharma and business, was ready and willing to accept these disruptive ideas that Katie and I were proposing in the lab. Yeah, it'd be better for if you're doing Neil and I have both been very fortunate to be uh, members of the lab of Dr. Olivier Elemento, who leads a uh, cancer systems biology lab. The opportunity to have that constant feedback and constant advisorship from Dr. Elemento, I think, has been crucial to both Katie and I's mm -hmm. development. Now that I'm graduating, I am going to take on um, a position as a leader of a new bioinformatics team trying to bring data-driven approaches to drug discovery. After graduation, Dr. Alanto and I are actually trying to create a startup of our own, which really speaks to how great of a mentor he is. I can't seem to let him go. <laughs> I probably won't get the opportunity again to have a life quite like this. While Cornell Graduate School of Medical Sciences has been a journey of a lifetime,